Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Kadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the brothers out there pushing this word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. <clears throat> so I'm going to get straight into it. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 12. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and establish a city with iniquity. So woe to him that buildeth a town with blood. How was America built? Off the bloodshed of the Native Americans, the Latinos, and, a, and the so-called blacks or, or African Americans through the transatlantic slave trade, through... Uh, <clears throat> the pilgrimage of uh, the Edomites coming from Europe or from, coming from Britain. And, you know, you got the conquistadors, the Spaniards, the the uh, the uh, French, you know, and the British coming over here, establishing their house through through uh, genocide. And establish a city with by iniquity through not following the law, statutes, and commandments that they know they were supposed to follow to even deal with us being in slavery. They did the opposite and did the most. They established their power through deception, rape, robbing, and murder, the blacks, the Spanish, the Native Americans, the, the children of Israel. <coughs> and in this video, it's going to further explain through pictures and through a video that who Esau, Edom is, you know, Edom meaning red, Esau meaning wasted away is he, the Hebrew Ashash, Ashashua, you know, showing you that this is the devil that the Bible speaks of, the son of perdition, the, 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 the man or the beast actually, that he's going to have the whole world in, in a uh, uh, deception, drunk, drunk off wine, which is the philosophies, his philosophies. And to basically to chip the whole world, starting off with the Maxines, but ultimately his new war order is to do what? To bring in his total dominance, to be like the Most High, to want to know everything about everybody through the, via AKA uh, RFID chip, AKA the Mark of the Beast, going back to Revelations the 13th chapter. So I'm gonna get read these scriptures break it down and then there'll be a clip later on in the video <clears throat> Genesis 36 and 8 thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir Esau is Edom <coughs> and Esau is the progenitor of the so-called white people or the, or the white race starting off with Cain and Abel he was the first murderer, the first uh, first um, person to commit crime on the face of the earth. Therefore, you see it in, in real time or in present time, who the vagabond of the earth is, that no one can touch him because he has a, a hedge around him for a certain amount of time until the Lord gives his green light to take him out through the spirit of your Haobash and uh through, you know, through the hunters. But we're breaking down the strongholds, you know, on the highways and byways with the Lord's words, first and foremost, the spiritual fight. Our weapons, are, the weapons of our, our warfare is not carnal. So, but this just shows you Esau is Edom. Obadiah chapter 1 verse 3, the pride of thine heart have deceived thee. Because pride go before destruction and deceive and deceive are his thou 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 that dwellest in the clefts of the rock which are the so called white people that their heritage goes back to the Caucasians whose habitation is high that saith in his heart who shall bring me that bring me down to the ground that's showing you the pride of Esau and that's a question who shall bring me down to the ground you know <coughs> his um who shall bring me down to the ground? That's that's like a direct insult to the Lord. But the Lord's going to show you 
thou shall build, I shall, uh, um, I shall bring, uh, bring you down, roughly phrasing, you know, there's so much pride in Esau's heart, the Lord gives you little clues, who dwelt in the, who, whose history goes back to the Caucasus, uh, Caucasus Mountain, Salaki, Esau, Edom, white people, so-called white people, Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 5, yea, also because he transgresseth, transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, his philosophies, neither keepeth at home <coughs> with his military, you know, his, 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 his power, who enlarges his desire as hell, how he lives, he wants the whole world to live, like, like, basically dirty, uh, um, cave dwellers that he is, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people, so, he wants to basically turn the whole world into into destruction. He's he is the the son of perdition. He is a, the destroyer of all worlds. You know, the, the, this this man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. And if he continues to, to rule in power, there will be nothing left for Yahweh Shai to, to save. <clears throat> Caucasian. I'm gonna get straight to it. Basically, apply to. Who? The white race. <coughs> um, and just to add, you know, just because you're a so-called white person doesn't mean that you're an Edomite. I just have to put that out there because you have the Israelite foreigners that there are there. There's people out there that look like so-called white people, but their bloodline goes back to who? The, the Israelites. Or they might go back to a Moabite or a Ishmaelite or a Ammonite. <coughs> Which are the Chinese, so-called Chinese, so-called um, Japanese, so-called Arabs, etc. You know, ultimately, color is an indication, but it's through the characteristics that, and through the spirit that we break down who you are in the spirit. Because there's only 18 nations on the earth, and there's only two sexes, male sex sexes on the earth, male and female. Not Esau's philosophy of LBGTQRS, whatever. Caucasian. Resident, uh, res resident or native of the Caucasus. Caucasian, meaning one of the white race. One of the white race. <coughs> so, you there you, I mean, this is a small example, but there you have it. Caucasian goes back to the word Caucasus. Meaning a cave dweller or a, uh, um, one that dwells in the caves. And the so-called white race, people wonder where did they come from? What's their history? They, they always want to claim Greek, Roman, Egyptian, this, 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 and this. But that's not, even, that's not even their heritage. Because the land of Europe, that was owned by who? Japheth. You can go back in the, into the scriptures and, and see for yourself. <clears throat> and I'll possibly make a video, Lord willing, on that too. But Esau, you know, he's not a man that keepeth at home. He conquer, conquers other people's um, lands. Like Job 9 and 24, the earth was given unto the hand of the wicked. He ch changed, uh, changes the uh, faces of the judges thereof. First definition of Caucasian, a Caucasian. A number of languages spoken in the caucus caucuses that are unrelated to languages spoken elsewhere because they didn't speak a language they, they grunted like beasts they didn't have a vocabulary they didn't have words they're the, the, the you know like the geico commercial even a caveman can do it <coughs> esau showing you it's funny but esau showing you who he was and who he's about to go back to in, in the kingdom of heaven, back to a cave dweller, but he's gonna be living in a pit, all hairy, hairy, and 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 disgusting. The de second definition: Caucasian, of or relating to the geographic, ge geographical region of Caucasia. Of, of or relating to Caucasian people. So, like I said. The word Caucasian goes back to the word Caucasus Mountains, going back to the, the Caucasus, Caucasus Mountains, or Caucasia. 
and and there you go they're not so they're not white <clears throat> God calls them red in the Bible not white red all over going back to Genesis 25 and 25 other names used Edom Edomites Adumia Adumians red dragon eagle the wicked Rome Grecians the beast serpent devil <clears throat> that can all be found where in the Bible but the Lord has to open your mind and sup with you for you to get that understanding to, to, to all those bywords and, and, and titles. <clears throat> you can find this book online. You can also buy this book on Amazon. You know, read Genesis 25 and 23. This is the, these are the people the, the Bible speaks of. The border of wickedness. So you got to know your enemy. He, this is the man that's going to bring in World War Three. Sweetheart, you can't just claim Italian, German, Greek, and whatever the fuck else you just pulled off of Google image search to be your own culture. You're a white American. We as white Americans don't have any culture because we have created nothing. The only thing that white Americans have created is racial injustice in the American system. Oh wait, we didn't even create the American system. We stole that from the French. We can't even claim country music. That stems off of jazz and blues created by black people. But it is okay, my fellow Pecker Woods. We are allowed to live amongst other races and not have any culture ourselves. Just stop doing white people shit like this. This ain't it. Have it, um, and in these <clears throat> the rest of the videos a couple more examples of things you've probably seen in history books but never been you know explained or emphasized or gone in detail about but this is the history of Edom you know dwelling in the Caucasus Mountains stealing other people's uh, culture heritage customs changing changing uh you know history for their benefit because that's why they call it history his story so whoever wins the war tells the story so <clears throat> and this was all given uh the power given to him through the spirit of yahweh but <clears throat> you know going to revelations 12 and 12 he knows that he have a short time so he knows that he has a short time he hasn't been in rulership that long. It's only been in rulership since like 14, the late 1400s. You got 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then you got, you know, the 20th century. So less than, roughly less than 500 years. But, uh, Lord willing, this is edifying straight to the point. And shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Yahweh Kadash, double honors to the Apostles of the Great Millstone, <clears throat> and Shalom to the hopeful elect on the four corners of the earth. Shalom.